string is really special. It's made out of fibers most of the time. I've got some wool fibers right here. People have been doing string out of wool for thousands of years. See how I'm just twisting it in my hand? Something about stuff getting twisted makes it stronger. Makes the twist, make the fibers, make the string. Then when you got string, you can make stuff out of the string too. So uh, that's the thing. Once you get it twisted and wrapped around and twisted some more and wrapped around and you get a nice piece of string, you might wonder, what can I make out of this string? That's what I was thinking the other day. I was making string and thinking, and I, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I thought, my face has been getting real beardy. People could make beards out of string if they wanted one. I wish I had a beard. <laughs> Gee, I, you know, my beard wishes it had a beard. <laughs> I wish I had a beard. Thank you. Hi, I'm James Beard. A beard is probably real easy to make from string, so I figured out a way to tie up some strings and make a beard for anybody who wants one. If you don't have wool to make your string out of, maybe you've got some other stuff. Maybe you even just have string, or somebody with string. But if you all have a t-shirt, here's one way. Get an old t-shirt and just cut here. You just cut across. And if you need somebody's help, sometimes it's easier to just ask for help. Just cut across and get from the armpit to the armpit that tube. Then cut almost all the way across, through both layers, almost all the way across, and cut strips like this. This is if you want to make some yarny kind of material out of an old t-shirt or a raggy old sweatshirt or something. Once you've got all of the strips cut out, then you can open it up, open up that tube, and cut into it to release the first part of the string and then just keep cutting diagonal down cutting and you can open it up on your knee or over a thing and you just keep on opening it and cutting it and opening it cutting it and this is a cool way to get one long length of some kind of cool t-shirt material that you could make into a hairstyle or a beard I don't know or another way to make a yarn is to get some yarn from a hat you might have a knit hat that you don't want anymore you can just pull a yarn out of that and make a ball of yarn that could be really nice just pulling it and pulling it you don't have to wear the hat while you're doing it but look i got a little ball of yarn in just a minute or what do you have some old rope a lot of times inside of a rope is string look inside of there you can pull those individual strands out those are really nice beard hairs or whatever kind of project you could just pull them out one at a time, and the, as less strings are in there, it's easier to get out the next one because they're like squished together like little squeezies. Once you have your little lengths to be the beard individual hairs, get a piece of string that you can tie around something. I'm tying it here to my tabletop. That's a good way. You could even kind of hold it between your knees or something, but it's good to be able to keep that other string tight in front of you. And that's the one that you're going to anchor things to. Then take little loops, put the loop around the string that is tied tight, and then just pull it through, make a little slip knot. Do this again and again, again and again. Every time, fold it in a half, put it in under, slip knot again. I'm just doing this all with my rope string that I got out of my rope, but you could do different colors. You could do lots of different kind of ropes. Oh, here it is in case you want to see it in slow motion. Loop goes under, then gets pulled through the other.
and slide it over. And really, you just do that, and again, and again, and you could really do a lot with this technique. It's not really just about making beards. It is just about making beards, but you could make so much more than a beard tying stuff, a uh, mustache. You can make, uh, what else is facial hair? Head hair, bangs, looks good. And if you don't have anything stringy around the house, you can make string out of paper. Look, I'm just twisting. Twisting is the secret of string. And as you twist the paper, it gets a little bit stronger and you can even tie it in a knot. I just tied mine, not a mustache, a beard. That's what we want. I tied it to a little piece of rope that I had laying around and that made a really nice card beard, cardboard beard. And if you don't have stuff that comes out in individual strings, but you have one ball, like what I made out of my hat, just wrap it around your hand loosely to make a big loop. And then once you get a nice big loop, loop lap around that, cut it. Cut the loop lap. Cut the loops open so that you get individual strands, and then you can use those for your... Um, slip knots to make onto your beard. And this is a slip knot that I'll just make on my finger with this string. Because what if you don't want a beard on your face? What if you want to make some sort of strange finger puppet? Anyways, beard, string, mm -hmm. beard. It's fun for the whole family. There you go. You can put it on your face. You can put it on your chin. You can cool. enjoy making things out of string because yeah. it's a miracle.